Hello there everyone, I'm Miss Wonderland and you look beautiful today. Welcome back to Friend Bo. Let's continue and find our way home. Oh kitty, what will be the first thing you do when we get home? Eat, of course. Eat until I fall asleep. And you? <laughs> I think I would like the same. Oh dear, this bridge was pretty scary. Oh friend, come on, we have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, I go first, alright? Then you follow me. Alright kitty, you're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Friend, wait. Thank you for nothing, asshole. Oh my dear, I can't. Oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. All right, here go. I got you. Not. <laughs> Friend, no! He, he jumped? Okay, okay. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Oh dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You will just leave me all alone, like mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear friend. You will soon understand. Aunt Grace, no, don't go, please, please. Friend, it's time for your new medicine. This game is so freaky. Holy moly. Uh, I missed the midnight! Oh, what happened? Where am I, friend? Where are you? I have a little kitty paw! <laughs> friend, shoot. Oh, oh! what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty, Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? F fr f what? <laughs> Friend, my darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would it be? Friend, you're a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait, just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a three. What? But how? Oh, my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night, that night mom and dad died. Kitty, 
I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please, don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. What the fuck? Homka igni me aula. Kolke kolke ik run ma pasku holani. Igni hogle vanti. Oh, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Howla Kolke, howla. Stop it, I scratch you. Howla, runma ikni. What are you saying? Oh, my kitty, what is happening to us? Howla. Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Howla ikni vanti. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I will see what I can do, friend. Scratch it. Stop attacking my friend, Kyrat. An old vegetable sitting on a boat. Like it's an everyday thing. Oh, I take one of the stone. It's shiny. Wood. Okay. Okay. That was super easy. I got the purse. Well, let's go back. Purse. Photo. Use. Show him that he, she is a woman. She's a girly girl. Oanum Nihauka. Ah, Runma. Paskin Oltau. What? What? Wait, what? Huh? Why are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Uke, Runma, Epo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I will be right here with you. Galompa. Galompma. We left her clothes. Chapter 3 Vegetative Status State What's Vegetative State? It men Paul Menu Kais Pe Sier Ni Hala Oanum Oh I can't I can't I I will not <laughs> Welcome creature my name is CR. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes! Finally words I understand. My good friend Riot told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you're one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. <laughs> no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Stop. What is going on? For real, this. Hmm, let me see. You're good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fran, and you're the girl with a passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates, interesting. Can you see all that in the seat? 
be quiet. I see something else. The seat doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, friend. This is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by dead? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absent of love. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. I still feel love for my kitty. I can't be dead. Please help me. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. This is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should be go home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home, I implore you. Ah, oh, I have a question. Are you the king? <laughs> You're hilarious. Yes, I'm the king. The king of Isterista. I Isters? I don't know. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They're pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The sea told me a story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that someone cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time and I want to be some place where I belong at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where's the door, sir? We'll talk about it later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we will talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Ew. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But not your eyes. This means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me. Do you understand? Excuse me. Do you understand what I'm saying, young human lady? Yes, I do. Oh, you sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand my kitty? I didn't. Your Highness, I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on faith and sound. You will see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now it's the time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Why are you taking me? What are you what are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I will be waiting for you, friend. I love you. Okay. I don't really know what's happening here, but I will accept it just like it is. <laughs> uh, thanks for things. What? What? 
I, I mean, what? <laughs> okay. Nothing can stop me anymore. Good day. My name is Palandres. I'm your doctor today at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow. Amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. I just... I just... Dad, I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name's Ren. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, human? I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little f bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the parts of the beast? Uh, what beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. Like I said, I don't even know what's going on, but it's totally fine with me. <laughs> Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Falokas created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing! So when do I get my legs and arms back? Oh right! We wait until the water pu purifies the curse. In the meantime, we can talk. Alright, so... Who are the Valokas? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, he was all alone. But he came to Isterstar, and his blood made this water pink. This is why it's so pure. That's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is it that you're here? What brought you to Isterstar? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again. But then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way, your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep being friend, you wanted to keep you alive. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. Is it actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis? But it's dangerous to have you here, it makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow, oh, but Palandra, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing. I see. Well, when you travel to a Thursday, you open the door between your reality and ours. And with this door opened, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tamed. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster, the terrible black. Oh, don't cry. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl. You're so nice. And you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Hmm, yes, doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Ren her arms and legs.
How do you feel, friend from Estersa? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we could fix it. And the water, this water is magical. It can fix every anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mom and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You are the best doctor I've ever had. And you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dern. Dern? But he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I will leave you at the station. Oh, I become a beautiful little girl tree. We're here again. Show CR the king what a nice interstenies you've become. Thank you again, doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Yay! Okay, and with this I will leave the episode right here and if you want to then check out my vlogging channel. The link will be down in the description below. And if you like the video then give it a thumbs up. So, I will see you guys then in the next part. Take care of yourself and bye bye!